Good morning guys. It is super early. 6.24 a.m. and today is another foundation Friday. I am so tired. I have not been sleeping very well at all. Um, I've been waking up at like quarter to five every morning for no apparent reason. <laughs> so yay me. Um, but then I can't get to sleep till like really late. I'm talking like one, two o'clock. So I'm getting like four hours sleep. So I'm I'm exhausted. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have done my skin prep. If you've watched any of my other Foundation Friday videos, you know what my skin prep is. It is the Cerave Facial Firming Cleanser, the Cos RX Snail Mucin ninety six, the Cerave moisturizing cream um and i'm just going in with my spf i keep my skin prep the same every single time and to be fair it's the same skin prep i do every single day so now that my spf is on i'm gonna go in with my primer this is the ordinary um high adherence primer and I love this stuff um if you've not tried it get it if you're not a fan of primers try it because it really is so good and it's so so cheap okay so today we are going in with the NARS natural radiant long wear foundation um I have got the shade Salz Salzburg um I got this somewhat recently i've used it once so <laughs> again i can't remember if i like this or not because i have only used it once i have so many foundations and i can't stop myself from buying new foundations so that i'll wear one once and then it'll be a few months before i wear that foundation again um so quite often i forget whether i like it or not um I have a shelf like right there that is basically filled with just foundations. It's it's a little bit of an issue, I'm not gonna lie. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, so as usual, I'm going in with a sponge on this half of my face and a brush on this. I am gonna go in with the sponge first. I'm going in with one pump. <laughs> Which is not a lot, is that right? That can't be right, surely. <laughs> oh, no, it, it was pretty much right. Look at the difference in that. That's just, so that is two pumps, apparently. That is, that is not a lot of foundation. Okay, let's, uh, let's go. Wow, for such a small amount of foundation, it's actually given really good coverage. You can still see a lot of my pigmentation coming through, but it's actually done a really good job of doing a lot of coverage um, with such a small amount. I'm going to go in with another pump, which, honestly, what, what is with that foundation pump? Is that normal for this foundation? Okay, so this is three pumps. Um, again, it's still a really small amount of product. Um, that extra pump did a lot, but I'm still not at the coverage that I would typically want. Um, but it actually looks really nice on the skin. It doesn't look makeupy at all. Um, I'm not actually that mad at what is happening here because I know that once I've got like concealer and blush and bronzer, what pigmentation I do have there would be covered anyway or at least like camouflaged. Okay, so time for the brush. I'm going to go in again with two pumps at first because this 
it's just such a small amount of product. And like, Okay, so this is why I love a brush. Like, oh my god, look at this. The this is two pumps of foundation. This is three. This has almost complete cover. Like, oh my gosh, I just. Oh, this is why I love brushes. I am actually still able to use this brush. I'm going to try and cover here using no extra product with what's left on the brush. And again, I am not disappointed. Like, look at that. That is crazy. I love brushes. <laughs> okay wow okay if you are a sponge user and you're using a lot of foundation or you're not happy with the coverage of your foundation you need to get a flat top brush i mean i've got a few like you want this kind of style brush this top the top of it is flat and it is very very dense like if you look at how dense that is it's very dense you can get these from pretty much every brand you i've got morphe i've got sigma um i'm pretty sure i've got one from real techniques these they're just this is what you need if you want more coverage from your foundation this is the brush for you these types of brushes flat top kabuki brushes are the best brushes ever okay i am gonna go and i'm gonna do the rest of my face check-in time for finishing my foundation is 6 37 few moments later okay so i'm back i've just filmed another little video um which should be up before this one is it's now 25 to 8 in the morning um full face is on honestly it went on so easy like everything went on beautifully over the top um honestly not a single complaint it looks impeccable like oh it just it looks like i've got perfect skin um because it just it's perfected my skin but it still looks very skin like it doesn't look makeupy which I don't mind usually like give me a cake face I love a cake face but on the days where I don't want a cake face this is my perfect perfect foundation it's full coverage um and it just it looks so good I really like this so far I hope it stays this way <laughs> I hope nothing changes but yes yeah. so I am gonna go throughout my day we might get a check-in midday check-in probably not I'm gonna be honest um but we will see um and I will see you in about 12 hours bye one eternity later okay guys I am back it is 10 21 so it's been 16 hours since i applied this foundation i'm just gonna quickly read the claims before this phone dies so it says uh ask any beauty buff to name their most coveted complexion products and chances are nas will be high on the list especially when it comes to natural radiant longwear foundation somehow achieving light as air yet luminous full wait what achieving light as air yet full luminous wear this perfectly balanced buildable breathable and fade resistant formula offers medium to full coverage it's perfect for normal combination and oily skin types enhanced with specialized 
skin and matching technology and available in 34 versatile shades you'll you'll be able to find the perfect hue to match and flatter your skin tone for a nourishing bonus the formula is enriched with raspberry apple and watermelon extracts supporting skin's elastic fibers to smooth improve skin's texture over time for optimal radiance can you tell i've been up since half past four this morning wow okay so 16 hours where how good is this foundation looking i have not touched up um i never touch up like i never the only time i will ever touch up is if like my lipstick that's basically it the only time i will touch up my base is like if i've been really 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 sweaty um but we are now in like we are fully in autumn now <laughs> um i got caught in the rain four times today and i'm not talking like a drizzle so let's wow my mirror is filthy okay while well, i am um, shiny um i for those who don't know i am combination leaning more oily i used to have very very like severely oily skin it is getting more toward the normal aspect of it but i am still an oily kind of girl but um the shine situation bear in mind 16 hours is a pretty damn long time to have foundation on um usually i don't have to powder but then again i don't usually have foundation on for 16 hours um that is pretty shiny but again it's in the same areas you'll notice here sides of my nose like on my cheeks and my chin um but oh god i look rough i'm so tired i was literally just sat over there for like an hour just staring like i need to move i need to go film but i really want to go to sleep i am exhausted um i think I take my powder brush from this morning no extra product yeah see just doing that wow it makes such a difference um I could wear this for another 16 hours now um it looks really really good it has broken down um on this entire like lower third of my face um but again i've been caught in torrential rain multiple times today it actually it looks really good on my forehead my cheeks look fine yeah they look good like pretty much exactly as they did this morning um my chin has broken down but it's an oily area and like eating and drinking and stuff chin area is pretty much like one of the first places on most people that it is going to wear down on just because it is a, a high movement area and yeah just like around my jaw area it has um faded it's not gone it's not like transferred off completely but yeah it's definitely faded uh, do i like it Okay, so it has settled in my nose creases. Uh, I don't know if I can... I don't know if the, the zoom on this camera is good enough to show you. But it has... It's settled in my nose creases. Um, it's not settled into my forehead. Uh, at all, like between my brows or in the line in my forehead which i need to get fixed i need some needles in my forehead i think i need to be to be perfectly honest uh but yeah actually this is actually really good i like this is it worth 35 pound uh yeah I, I don't have anything bad to say um 
there's no strong smells it's lasted 16 hours it doesn't have like a did it have a wear time it doesn't mention anything about like lasting a certain amount of time um so i think 16 hours is really good um and it's it's a, a luminous foundation it's not dewy it's luminous basically the same thing um which are kind of they're notorious for not lasting as long as a matte foundation um i didn't like over powder or anything uh so that's really good yeah i still i would buy it again but it's no better than my um wet and wild for a focus dewy foundation like i don't think it's i don't i think they're very comparable foundations and the nas one is like 10 times more expensive um if you get the wet and wild one usually it's like three pound fifty on beauty bay um full price it's like six pound where the nas foundation i've never seen on sale only ever seen at full price and it is at 35 pound so i think the the wet and wild one is basically due for it i don't know like i maybe just keep this for like special events to make me feel a bit bougie um rather than spending like wearing my three pound fifty foundation like if i want the same look and the same performance it's like they're they're basically the same in my honest opinion it could be different for others but for me those two foundations honestly these two are so alike it is crazy i mean you've got plastic top and glass bottle <laughs> and then the comparisons from there just keep going again the nas is 30 mil um pretty standard sizing for foundation um yeah that's it i think that's it i can't think of anything else okay guys thank you for watching i'm gonna go take my face off in fact i'm taking my lashes off right now oh um thank you for watching please like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up do it just do it i want to know if you've used the nas foundation and the photo focus from wet and wild do you have the same feelings that i do do you think they're comparable? Do you think they're basically the same foundation like I do? Um, yeah, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.